Yo, Taz. I got him. Yo, that pass through is kind of really good. <laughs> Feel like I could literally play sports or like do something active right now and this would be totally okay. Um, all right, cool. So pass through is great. Uh, I guess let's take a quick look at something like photos to see what that experience is like. So I'm guessing crown for the menu. Mm -hmm. For those of you who haven't seen anything about the Apple Vision Pro, like your control is basically you look at what you want to click on and then you tap your fingers together. I'm gonna look at all of Taz's photos here now. <laughs> oh, he has some beautiful photos in here, man. I think I'm in your photography album, so. That's like really cool. If you don't see it, that's not a problem. Okay, okay, actually now, yeah, on a regular photo, yeah, I see what you mean by, like, you'd use two pinch, yep. and zoom in. You're looking right that's now. super. Like, look at that white bar, and pinch, and hold, and then push forward, and pull back. Oh, I see, So Whoa. pull it forward like it's almost like iPad size for you, and then use your finger to go through the photos app. Oh, what the? That's insane, dude, what? That's crazy. I'm literally just like, that is such good 3D spatial tracking. This is insane. Okay. Two pointer finger. Yeah. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. That's really cool, dude. Wow. Okay, so uh, spatial, yep. And so then. Go to the, the last couple of those ones I took with the headset. Let's look so. at your baby. <laughs> dude, stop. Stop it, dude. That's. In oh, whoa, that's insane, bro. I'm just speechless. This is this is like um, what you hope 3D movies to be when you were a kid, that but instead it just gave you a headache. Uh, this is like so uncanny. Game the game room. Yeah. Okay. All right. So how do I? So I just grab this. Just plop just it. Just on a desk. Yeah. Right there. Okay, that's so cool. And you get so you're saying I could just like. Uh, all right, so uh, we're, we're gonna pawn forward. Great move. Um, and then that's about the the extent of my chest knowledge right there. Oh, I do want to try one thing. Um, I want to do a typing test. <laughs> Yo, autocorrect is screwing me. <laughs> Don't make a some sure. Yeah, this is definitely. Try the fingers. The, I, I highly doubt that will work, but. Yeah, just keep your pointers nice and nice, nice and, and just and pointy. Yeah. All right. The. The. Typo. Sheen. Only. Now I feel like I'm my mom when it comes to using technology. This is how my mom types on her phone, I swear. I'm gonna stop there. I'm exhausted. I have 12 words per minute and I've typed two thirds of one sentence. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Uh, the fact that you can just kind of grab a window and you know, I'm just like, take it with me. So we're, we're gonna go off screen. I'm just gonna go for a walk. Like, just have a window with you. And you can just like drop it here in the hall uh, I remember I saw, saw a, a, a thread about this. It was like uh, spatial computing, the first time you can lose your app in a, wrong, in a different room. <laughs> like, oh, where'd I put my YouTube app? Must be in my office. Okay, we're gonna do what we came here to do today. Uh, we're gonna try to edit some photos in Lightroom while using the Apple Vision Pro. And I, I kinda wanna see what that experience would be like. So, you know, obviously on this channel, we talk a lot about camera gear and things that might improve or change your photography or videography workflow. And I'm really curious on how the Apple Vision Pro fits into that niche. And now one of the things that the Apple Vision Pro can do is take your Mac computer screen and kind of enhance it and enlarge it in this kind of AR space and use it like you would normally a computer. And what I wanna do is boot up Lightroom and try to edit one or two photos and see what is that experience like? And if it's something that you would even want to do with a headset or you know, should you just stick with your laptop and editing like that? 
This is actually so cool. So first thing to note, I mean, there's really no, I mean, there's really no latency uh, with this. It feels really responsive. So like, if you really wanted a giant screen to edit your photos, and I, and I can see why, like I am looking at a massive screen of, of, my, uh, of my Lightroom window right now, and this looks way bigger, which is nice. If you're, if you're editing you know, pictures, it's always nice to get a huge view of your shot. Because you can see all the details, see all the little things that you wouldn't if you were editing, say, like on, I mean, the worst case scenario, editing on your phone. My only concern with editing, say, for example, on a headset like this is going to be how color accurate is what I'm looking at compared to a backlit LCD display, like on your laptop. Because um, obviously, if the color accuracy is completely off, then this isn't going to do you any good because by the time you're done editing and you pop it on your phone or pop it on your laptop, you're going to be like, wait a second, that's not what I wanted. That looks completely off. So a quick little edit here. Let's go ahead and copy all my settings. And let's see that on picture number two. Taz, I keep forgetting that like, obviously you can't see this because to me there's just yeah, light room on your wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and I'm it just like, really, it, it does, look does that look good? Does, good? You like that edit? Yeah, I think it looks good too, man. That was a quick little edit. Um, here is the picture of my wife and I yesterday when we went to Sarasota to do a little bit of a, just a little day trip. Here's a photo of her and here is the photo of me. And let's look at the before and after, before, after, before, and after. I need to look at this without uh, goggles on after this recording session to see how good it looks. But the cool thing about editing on these goggles is it really feels like I'm looking at like a giant 4K projector screen. There's just so much detail. It's not blurry at all. And like I'm punched way too close to my face, way too many pores I don't want to see. And like that's all there. It doesn't feel like I'm looking through a screen. It feels like it's in front of me. Uh, besides the obvious fact that I'm wearing goggles, this feels very immersive. Something that I forgot to mention while I was at Taz's place was that you can actually download the iPad version of Lightroom natively on Apple Vision Pro, which supports hand gestures for a more immersive editing experience like what you're looking at right now. I wouldn't do this for like a client photo set that's gonna have like hundreds of photos in it because that's gonna take a while, but it's really perfect for when you just want like a relaxed session editing while you're at home on the couch or on a flight or even in a hotel room while you're traveling, you just don't feel like pulling out your laptop. All right, that was such a cool experience. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unplug from the Matrix now. So that is so cool. Also, yeah, all right, I see the weight thing now. Now that it's off my head, I feel like uh, 10 pounds lighter. <laughs> that was a super cool experience. I, I probably translated on screen, just me being like in awe of everything. Kind of to transition, kind of want to ask you, you know, why did you pick up an Apple Vision Pro? Uh, you know, does it, how does it relate to you know, your creative business, making videos, making photos? Tell me more about that. Yeah, so I run a photo video production company and I am behind the computer all the time as any creative person is. I do a fair amount of travel. Sometimes we go over, spend some time over in Cocoa Beach where my wife's family is, we're over there for a couple days and I've literally lugged my like studio display. I package it up in pillows and I put it in the trunk and we drive across the state because I'm there. And I'm like, I need a bigger real estate because I'm just like jamming. I love the XDR display, right? Like that thing's beautiful. I know this is not as like color accurate as that, but the fact that this I can bring anywhere on planes over there, I can put it in my backpack and it's half the cost of that, the studio display, or not the studio display, but the XDR display is like, it, it was sold. Then the fact that it's like a full standalone computer and you can do all the extra things that this does. And then like, I don't know, the stupid little games I've been playing, like <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a pretty magical thing. Anyways, I bought it mainly for the secondary display reason alone. I'm gonna drop this because I'm gonna have a video coming out eventually, but um, that you can use the Capture One iPad app and you can tether a camera directly to the headset and be shooting directly into the headset, which is pretty, That's which cool. is pretty gnarly, so. yeah. That's pretty cool. We were talking about this and I'm sure Taz will cover a lot more um, in his content, hopefully coming soon. So definitely check that out. Uh, but we were talking uh, kind of behind the scenes about how this could be a great uh, tool for, let's say a client to review a photo shoot live on set while you're taking photos of the product or of uh, the model. And you know, it's, be it's tethered and being shot directly over to the Vision Pro. The client has it on. They can see what you're doing you know, through the pass through and they're also getting a high res image just popping up floating in virtual space to review all the shots as they're coming. Yeah, I mean, it's like, imagine you're shooting for a billboard, mm -hmm. right? And the client, while they're, you're sitting there on set, can zoom out the size of what this billboard is gonna look like. Just give you Like that in scale. real time, right. see the scale of what's right. happening. Yeah. Like, 
That's that's so good. Because like obviously there's a lot of applications of this in like engineering mm -hmm. or in 3D design. Oh, yeah. But I, I think there's a lot of untapped, you know, ideas here for like the photography and filmmaking community that I think, again, this is Gen 1. Uh, this is like the iPhone when it first came out or the iPad when it first came out. You know, it has that like magic to it where things just work, it feels polished. And what I'm most excited about isn't this one per se, but like imagine Apple Vision Pro 3, right, years from now how much more refined product it's gonna be and how many more apps it's gonna have on it. So to kind of circle back, right? This video was about editing photos uh, on the Vision Pro. Can you do that? Absolutely. And honestly, I, I was gonna come in here saying like, can you? Yeah, but should you know? I, you know, cause I was like, it's $3,500, but kind of now, kind of convinced that it's pretty good. It's a great experience. So those are my thoughts on the Apple Vision Pro. What do you guys think about it? Is it worth 3,500? What are some use cases you guys could see uh, it being used for? Let me know in the comments section down below. Make sure to check out Taz's socials. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like and subscribe. Let me know if I should cover more Apple Vision Pro content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.